Okay, let's get to the game. I'm all in the bins, honey. What is this? Well, it's nice, but not with all that water. Let's see. No candies, a little rough. Oop, finally. I was actually looking for the other half of this. Okay, gonna get that. Oh, I see the bottom of a shoe. That looks like it may be promising. Let's see. These are zero way. Okay, put them in the pot for now. Uh, let's see. Ooh, what's this? Let's see. The mustard. Who is this? This is Mossimo. Feels a little rubbery. Um, put it in the cart for now. Let's see. Uh, H and M. Who is this? This is uh, cloud something. Oh, I got time to look. Uh, let's move on to another bin. All right, here's another bin, and immediately I'm drawn to these. Uh, these are Fitzwell. Hmm. I think there's uh, yeah, there's so it's twelve. I'll get them. Michael Kors. We're missing that. Uh, Converse. Number 21. This is Paul de Victoire. Dirty. Dion Dean and I'm back with another video. I'm actually gonna be back with two videos. I'm gonna split this video up in two because I spent a hundred dollars at the Goodwill outlets in West Palm Beach and I got more than I bargained for. Um, I'll show you one of the bags. I don't think I can lift it up. Oh god, no. Okay, this is one of the bags. This is all handbags and shoes. So, I'm gonna split up the haul in two handbags and shoes and then clothes but first we're gonna do handbags and shoes because you know that's like my what I miss the most I'm not what I miss the most but what I shop for the most and I'm gonna stop fiddling with my hair I need to get it done but it's all over the place all right so oh I should have opened this before I got on camera hold on I'll be right back hold on oh my god how do I open this Okay guys, it literally took me five minutes to <laughs> open this bag with these nails, I know, but I'm not cutting them, so it is what it is. Um, so what do I want to say? The first thing I want to tell you guys about the West Palm Beach outlets is that you need a membership card now. It's not, it's unlike the Fort Lauderdale outlets or the Miami outlets, the West Palm Beach outlet, you need a membership card. So when you go in there, ask them for the application so that you can fill out for the membership card and they'll put you in the system, or you can go online. I apologize, I did not get the web address, but I'm thinking if you just Google Goodwill, Goodwill West Palm Beach, that it'll give you a link to sign up for the membership. Or you can just give them a call, you can Google the number. Because um, when I went in there, I saw some woman go into the register, and the woman said, oh, do you have your membership number or your membership card? And they were like, no. And she's like, gave the application, and you're not able to shop today, and you know, that calls, you know. After you've been digging for a couple hours, you don't want anybody telling you that you're not going to get what you've been digging for. Um, so, long story short, you know, I went and asked them um, about the membership, and they just gave us the application, told us to go down the walkway and talk to the manager, blah, blah, blah. I was able to shop. The people that were there, that were able to shop. I don't know... Um, going forward if you don't have the membership card if you'll be able to shop so once again make sure you give them a call and check them out online google them that being said let's get in to the haul i like i said i'm gonna do shoes later or after this one i don't know i'm because i want to get all these bags and shoes listed oh let's go into what i got okay so oh get your coffee and your your dinner your tea your ice cream ready it's gonna be a long one okay so this, I don't know, I want to say this is Gap. This feels like, oh, it's Old Navy. I didn't even notice that. It's an Old Navy bag. It is suede, 
and I'm assuming faux leather, but I liked it because it reminded me of Coach. Um, and so, yeah, when it comes to bags and shoes, and it has a little bit of marking there, you can kind of, kind of see it. Um, the thing that I like with bags and shoes, that regardless of whether they're outlet or not, um, bags, you can fake it till you make it. Yes, there are Gucci bags and Louis Vuitton bags and Balenciaga and Chloe and Selene and stuff. But if you find a good bag like this or something that can pass for something else, um, for me, I just like that. And so I carry it in my store because you guys know I carry what I like. Um, this is a Just Fab tote. And this is just a really, I mean, it's just a really good tote. It reminds me of the Epi Louis Vuitton Neverfull. And these are always going to be in style. I feel like totes are never going to go out of style. I might actually keep this. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking about it because you guys know how I feel about a faux leather. I don't need to peel it off all my clothes and all that kind of stuff. Um, but this feels like, you know, it feels like okay quality. And it is just fab. It looks like, oh no, it has been worn because it has a few pen marks in it. But as you can see, it's just fab right there. All right, so let's let me leave this open so that I can throw stuff in there. Okay, so the next bag that I got was this. Oh lord. Okay, hold on. The next bag that I got was this vintage Dooney and Burke. Oh, somebody had the price on it. Let me take that off. <laughs> well, not the price. Had like had something on it. Um. So yes, this is a vintage Dooney and Burke. And it has vintage wear on it. I love vintage. You guys know how I feel about a vintage coach and a vintage um, vintage coach and vintage Dooney. And so I saw this. I was like, yes, I must have it. It must be in my store. Ow! Just hit myself. Um, yeah, nothing to say about that. It has the, the Dooney and Burke label right there. So, yeah. Nothing spectacular about that. Um... Let's do this one. So, Vera Bradley, you know, it sells for me. When I find it, I wouldn't necessarily buy this at the store, traditional Goodwill, but when I find it in the bins in good condition, I get it because it, it does sell for me at Poshmark prices. So, <coughs> there we go. Ooh, let me show you the label. Vera Bradley. And I always look for this little hang tag there as well. Vera Bradley, for me, I found out about the um, the commitment of Vera Bradley shoppers in Dallas because they do have like a Vera Bradley outlet um, and Grapevine Mills. Um, these shoes, now you know, I'm picking out shoes for myself. So I, do I dove into the bin for these. These are Enzo and Giolini's. Um, and they're in really great condition, actually. Um... You cannot go wrong with a nude or, you know, a light colored pub, especially for the spring and summer. So these are seven and a half and they're just really good. They have barely any wear on the bottom. And so, yeah, I just think this is just a good, just a good shoe to have in your closet. Put those up there. Okay. I got, now these are mine. I mean, you know what? I threw these in the cart so bad. So quick. I mean, I didn't even see if these were my size. I want to say they are. Hold on. Before I even show them to you. I'm not, I'm not playing no games today. What size are these? So these are Stuart Weitzman. Let me not hit myself in the head for the boot. These are Stuart Weitzman. These look like my size. And so I'm keeping these. But these are Stuart Weitzman. <laughs> Where am I going in a boot, by the way? Who knows? I don't care. These are Stuart Weitzman. And they're just, I mean, they're Stuart Weitzman and they're Stuart Weitzman. And I think if anybody does a comfortable boot or booty, it is Stuart Weitzman. And, you know, they have a little bit of like gook right here, but I don't really care because these are mine. So Stuart Weitzman, there you go, from the bins. And honestly, if I were to sell these, these would probably make the haul. These would probably be like $100, but I can't find the size. And they're usually, the size is usually in here this area here but I can't find it okay y'all if you guys oh it's a nine and a half there we go oh and so I see like you can see right here where the there's a little ugh, uh, the covering from the lace has come off but I don't care so these are mine where can I hide these so my husband doesn't see them because <laughs> he likes to pop up at my office sometimes ugh. I don't like that I need him to call Okay, um, 
the let me do this one okay no let me do let me do this one first so these are some vanelli and i listen to you guys i've been listening i've been listening i do listen to you and i take into consideration for my subscribers who you know have a larger foot these are some size 12 vanellis and so and they are i want to say they have not been worn um from TJ Maxx. So these are some size 12 work shoes. I'm going to put these up in Poshmark for you, for my size 12s who are looking for some comfortable cute shoes to wear with your cute slacks or your cute pencil skirts. So that'll be up in Poshmark for you guys. I don't want to throw them on the floor. This shoe, this came out, I got these, I literally grabbed these before I left. These are some Cole Haan boots. If anybody knows anything about Cole Haan and the quality of the leather, these are, you know, we talk about leather and whether it has to be designer or not. Cole Haan, I think, makes one of the most comfortable boots. And these are a size 10. These are the Cole Haan Nike Air boots. These are some of the most comfortable boots. Ooh, did I get my red lipstick on it? No. I keep hitting myself in the face. Um... So these are just some Cole Haan knee highs. I may, I don't know if this is going to fit me. I am like a, I'm like a 40, 40 and a half. I'm a 41 in Louboutins. So in regular shoes, I can be anywhere from like, after Riley, I can't do an eight and a half anymore, but I can do like a nine, nine and a half, possibly a 10, depending on who it is. So I'm, I will try these on. Um, if not, they'll be going up in Poshmark because I just feel like, or eBay, because you can just never have, regardless of when it is, you're going to always be look on the lookout for a really fabulous boot. So these were like the last thing that I purchased that I walked out with. Um, I told you guys, we're eight minutes in, and when I tell you I haven't even gone to half of the shoes and, and um, shoes and bags. Okay, so these, once again, I've been listening to you guys. I got these. These are size... 12s. These, oh, I thought I got some 11s. I got these Fitz, Fitzy Wells. Fitz Wells? Um, yeah, I got these. They had, I mean, somebody was obviously clearing out their closet because I found these in one bin and then I found these in another bin. So, I'm going to put this on Poshmark. I'm going to, I was thinking about bundling them, but I was like, if you want a black pair, you may not want the brown pair. So, I'm going to separate them and then if somebody wants them, they could just buy the bundle. So, smart of me, right? Let me just throw those over there. Let's take a picture of those. Um, okay, let's go here. Alright, so I got this, and I know it has wear on it. It has some wear and tear. But I feel like if this is your zhuzh, this is by Expressions NYC. If this is your zhuzh, and you like this kind of wooden um, vibe, this kind of artsy vibe, this tribal vibe, as I talked about in my Spring Trends book, um, then you're going to love this. <coughs> so I'm going to price it accordingly. There you go. Um, sorry, I need some water. Hold on. I have my water over here. This is infused water from the finest fashion, infused with the finest fashion. This was in my purse. Yes, darling, I drink Neiman Marcus water. Okay, yes. Let's take a sip of the Neiman Marcus water because I'm feeling a little bit parched. <laughs> okay. All right. That was not a plug, by the way. I literally was like about to choke, but I don't want to stop this video. Um, <laughs> so I showed you that. This, I like, and I know it's like a little tchotchke, but I don't care because I feel like summertime is a time to bring out your vintage darling. So these purses, I don't know if I'm keeping or selling this. I want to say this, no, this is, this is a Sharif bag. And Sharif does really well for me or did really well for me on eBay as far as, um, uh, what you call it bags? Um, oh, hold on. As far as vintage bags. So, I want to keep her though. Okay, I'll just put it over here. So that's like four things that I said I'm keeping. I'm talking about I'm, I'm a reseller. I am not a reseller. <laughs> I shop for myself and sell what doesn't fit. That's who I am. Um, <laughs> Um, Lucky Brands. I found this brand new Lucky Brand straight from Nordstrom. Has a Nordstrom tag attached. Lucky Brand priced at $64. You know why I got this? I just liked the print. I did not know that it was new with tags. I didn't know that it was Lucky Brand. I just really loved that print. And so this will be definitely up in Poshmark. And this is a size 
small and so yeah that's the thing when you have honestly when you have great style or you just have a great style eye you can see something in the bins that nobody else sees and I think that's why I'm, I am gonna toot my own horn I'm not gonna I'm not gonna act like I don't have the experience I think that's why I do well and I think if you want to do well you're gonna have to develop your own style sense um, so that you know what you like so that you see stuff like this and then it's like oh this is a great seller. Um, like this beautiful piece. I know, I'm totally in my Golden Girls element. But I love it. So this is Designs on Travel. So, yeah. I just like the color. It's just a little makeup bag. Poshmark. Okay, so I have this bag of bags. And then am I done with this one? Nope. Let me show you these shoes first. Hold on. Nope. Nope. <laughs> this is just one bag, people. Here is a, another vintage bag. And this one has... This one has the... Oh, it's broken. Okay, so I guess it's just a clutch. It's a vintage clutch. It feels so good. I want to say this is... This is authentic snake skin or somebody's skin. Somebody's skin, but it feels really good. Ooh. This now, okay... I really thought this was Chanel. Let me tell you why I thought this was Chanel. This is a leather. It's not lambskin, but this is a leather. And I thought that it may be some, I don't know who, it has some kind of logo on it. I don't really know what it is, but I'm going to rock this like it's Chanel, okay? This is going to be my quilted, but, oh no, I'm going to, I'm going to put it on Poshmark. No, I'm keeping this. I'm probably keeping this. Um, but it's just a beautiful little quilted bag. And I can rock it like it's Chanel until my Chanel jumbo manifests itself. Isn't that cute? And on me, people are going to think it's Chanel. I mean, let's be, let's be real with my Neiman Marcus water. <laughs> Don't think that I bought this from, well, no, I didn't buy it from Neiman Marcus. But when you go to Neiman Marcus and you're shopping, um, I was buying makeup, of course. And they were like, oh, do you want water and a cookie? And they gave Riley a bunch of cookies. Um, here we go. So off topic. So here is... A cute little Dooney bag for the summer. Isn't that adorable? I love that. Isn't that cute? Uh, let's look on the inside. Uh, there we go. This is the popular style and a popular um, popular print for them. It matches my nails. Oh, how cute. Maybe I should do a photo shoot. <laughs> no. All right. Oh my gosh. 14 minutes in. I told you there's no way I could do this and close together. All right. Um, oh, all of this stuff is mine. <laughs> I feel this, this, I'm really a hoarder. So this is a cute little snakeskin bag for the summer. This is, uh, I guess I should put it on Poshmark, huh? This is Carlos Fauci, which I thought that other one was. Um, it's vintage, it's cute. I mean... I just saw myself wearing this with a cute little summer dress. I should sell it, right? Uh, what about this one? <laughs> I saw this with a cute little summer dress. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love this. It's so cute. And then I saw this with a cute little summer dress as well, like for the evening. I mean, honestly, if I was on the real, real buying this stuff, it would be thousands of dollars, okay? I'm saving money by buying this from the bins. But look at this. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Oh, I love this. Oh, my gosh. This is so chic. Oh, I love that. Okay. And then this for myself as well. <laughs> this is David Palm Beach. And this is coming out, but I can stick that back in. Hold on. I can stick that back in. Oh, yes, honey. I've stuck it back in, so it's not even coming out. It's not even showing. So this looks like Bottega Veneta. Oh, it feels so good. This is like a Bottega bag. Nice little summer bag. And, I mean... This for myself too. This is actually an ash bag. This bag is a bag that I actually saw at Neiman Marcus last call. Um, I'm gonna say like a year ago. 
Let me show you the guys the label for Ash. Oh, do you guys see that? But I mean, so cute for the summer. Isn't that cute? The fringe. So cute. So yeah, I got that for myself too. All right. <laughs> and then last but not least of this bag is another Vera Bradley bag. And I actually, I want to say, hold on. Oh, here's the here's the tag so you guys can see. I want to say that I actually had this bag in Chicago. I actually thrifted the similar bag at the Chicago bins. So I don't know if Vera Bradley's. I don't know if she's following me, honey, but yeah. Alright. Um oh. And then I got two pairs of shoes. Another two pairs of shoes. Sorry. Sorry guys. Um this is a pair of Bandolinos in great condition. These are beautiful condition, actually. I'm not going to take them apart because I want to get to the next bag of bags and shoes. I'll put that in there. And then these Etienne Agnès. These are size eight. These are really, I mean, these are really great condition. Look at that, unworn. Which is you have to dig. Let me tell you something. When it comes to these bins, if you're looking for anything new or like new that doesn't have any scratches or like the stuff peeling off, you have to dig. All right. Let me take a minute, <laughs> get this all together, and then open up the other bag. Because this bag actually still has stuff in it. It has shoot I mean it has clothes in it. So let me get situated and then we'll open up the other bag. Give me one second. Oh my gosh, where am I going with all of these bags? Ooh. Okay, so I open up this bag and there's not as many. There's only five bags in here. Um so this is a who's this by? Black Rivet. I don't know what this is. Black Rivet bag. And what I loved about this was the detail here. I mean, oh, I don't know if you can see that. This is a faux piece, but it's in great condition, actually. And I like the color. The color and this part is what I like. So, put that over there. Gonna list that. Um, this is Isaac Mizrahi for Target. And this was in great condition as well. And the basket weaving. Summer. This is all summer, people. This is such a pretty. I could probably keep this too. No. No, 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 no. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. It's so pretty. Hmm. No. I'm not going to keep it. All right. This one. Nope. I'm not going to keep it. What I really like. This is this is an Anya bag. What I really like about this bag I don't know if you can see like the lucite. It's like marbleized lucite. Isn't that cool? And it does have it does have some muckiness to it, so it needs to be wiped down. So, but yeah, Anya leather bag. Um, here is a fossil. Fossil does well for me. So whenever I see it, I'm like, oh, let me grab, let me grab that. Just a regular fossil. This is like a good Disney bag. Whenever I think of fossil, I think of like going to Disney <laughs> so there you go good fossil bag and then last but not least this was the first piece that I saw that was just like I'm keeping it it's mine oh, is this bag gorgeous darling oh look at that I don't know if you guys can see look at that oh it's so pretty it's so fly that is so fly with like a blazer and some jeans this is Bonaire it's vintage it's a vintage bag but whoever had this before me, I'm going to, I'm going to do her justice, darling. Yes. Hope, I hope when I pass away and Riley gets my bag, she appreciates the curation. I curate my, my, my handbag collection. I hope she's just like, not like, just give it to Goodwill. I don't care what you do with it. No, she better appreciate all these bags just like mommy does. Hmm. Pretty. Anyway, so... <coughs> Oh my gosh, my allergies have my throat going crazy. So that was handbags and shoes. I'm not editing. <laughs> that was handbags and shoes in a, in a belt. And I have not even touched on clothing. And I have a lot of clothing to show you guys. That's going to be part two. I'm going to work on getting these handbags and shoes listed. For those of you guys that are interested, you can shop my Poshmark closet at Riley's Fab Closet. 
um i'll leave the name and everything um down in the description box but yeah that was half that was half this is my for those of you guys that have been with me um I said Chicago. Didn't that remind you of like a, 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 a eighty-seven cents, eighty-seven cents pound by the pound Wednesdays, whatever, like that kind of haul. Um, if you guys are thinking about going to West Palm, make sure that you go online and get the um, the membership card, or call them and find out how you can get it before you go. I don't want you guys to go and do all your digging and do all your um, searching, and then you get there and you're like, you can't, you can't shop with us. That just makes no sense. So, um, yeah, love you. We never pay retail. About to go. Get to work and clean up these bags and get them listed for you. Love you. We know pray we do. See you tomorrow for part two. Bye. Look at these bags. I have like 10 bags I'm keeping. <laughs>